What's up? What's up, everybody? Today we are here on the China server. Remember when we made this team a couple weeks ago, and it was like the most amazing, the most ridiculous, the most awesome Dragons V10 team, just out of three star monsters. It was so great. I was enjoying using this so much. Couple weeks later, they're like, "Oh, by the way, this is Dragons V10, right? This is Dragon V10." Uh, if you guys, if I didn't say that already, uh, a couple weeks later, they're like, "Oh, Dragons V12 is out. Now you have to do Dragons V12." Tried to cheese this out in Dragons V12. Nope, not even close. Nowhere near the ballpark. Not even remotely. Not at all, right? It's like, oh, I was so disappointed. I knew it wasn't gonna work, right? But I was so disappointed that this cheesy team didn't. We were, we were getting like 30, 40 seconds. Uh, Dragons V12 runs, unfortunately. Uh, and then I was looking through. I was like, what other new content can we? Maybe possibly cheese with this team because I don't want to like have built four fire nagamis completely second awakened, completely uh, skilled up these four fire nagamis and have them just go to waste. I was like, we can't do uh, giants. We can't do. I mean, I feel like we may be able to do some necropolis stuff if we just tweak things and fix things and try to make things better. We may be able to actually find something to do in necropolis. Uh, and I was like looking at steel fortress. I'm like steel fortress. It's got that, we have to block beneficial effect. We can't just cheese it out with Kali and a couple of fire nagamis. And then a couple of days ago, I, um, like yesterday, the day before, I guess, not, not a long, of course, because they just came out, the dungeon just came out. Um, I was trying to, I was playing around in uh, Punisher's Crypt and I was like, can we make this team work? And we can't, but I'm gonna show you what. You're like, wait, it's clickbait then. We, if you say we can't make the team work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't. Or can we, is the question. We can't make this specific team work. Um, we're trying, but there's, uh, we get the, sometimes we get the boss down to like half health, but we can't quite finish him off. It's, it's just not enough for this team specifically. However, if we just make a little bit of tweaks, that's what I was saying, we may be able to make something work in Acropolis. If we make a little bit of tweaks, we actually could make it work with a little bit, like, it, it's looking very, actually, it's looking very promising. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> it's looking a little too much for, don't tell me we can actually make this work. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Team, 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 don't make, don't make a liar to me. Don't make a liar to me. Don't be like, no, it works now. Okay, exactly, exactly. That was way too close though. That was actually close to working. What I was gonna say, what I was gonna say is we could just make, <laughs> You can just stick one other monster in here, but then they're like, no, we're gonna make a liar to you, Mega. We're just gonna work already without you changing anything. We don't need you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Very nice. Um, what I had intended to say before I was so rudely interrupting by these guys winning, uh, damn it. <laughs> just add some more artifacts and they'll definitely clear it. That's, that's scary, isn't it, right? We added some artifacts to the team. It wasn't working. We added some more artifacts to the team. Not crazy artifacts, right? It's just like, uh... Actually, these ones are plus 12. Not even plus, uh, 18. Uh, plus 18. Not even plus 15. Um, we are missing an artifact there. We're missing an artifact there. We got some on plus 12. Some of the artifacts are kind of nice. Uh, let's take a look at how it does as soon as we add the Vertiheal into the team. The speed lead and the extra turn cycling actually makes a difference. And I know you're looking at your... That was a really good run, that last run. That was a deceptively good run, and you're thinking like, oh, this team is still not, uh, is, is not reliable though. Don't get me wrong, this is not like, oh my god, this team's gonna work all the time, we're just gonna be able to speed run it. Um, if towers were maxed, if everything had like G3 quality runes, then I would say maybe reliable. Uh, which is crazy. No, she didn't even do her thing. I think she, I think she actually needs to do her, uh, her skill three to have like it really be good. I think we may still be able to do it though. I think we may still be able to do it. Uh, let's get some defense breaks. Let's get some of these. Let's get some of that turn cycling. Let's get some more damage. Let's get some more team ups. But yeah, those artifacts actually did make a uh, did make a difference. Not even not even the skills and the artifacts. Again, because I know people are still think like, oh, Bago, you said the artifacts suck. The skills on some of the order, the substats or whatever you want to call the things on the artifacts, yeah, 52 seconds, right? It's not reliable though, but uh, with better rune quality, with more upgraded towers, 
Now let's take a quick look at some of the artifacts that I actually put on these monsters and let's see what kind of stats, substats I was looking for in these artifacts. Also, I want to clarify something that a lot of people saw the video that I did a couple days ago that said artifacts suck and they were like, oh, Bagel says all artifacts suck all the time and they didn't actually bother to listen to anything that I was saying in there before. A more accurate title would have been uh, Many artifacts subs are pointless on the monsters they want you to put them on, and here, let's talk about it. That's not really a very eye-catching YouTube thumbnail, okay? So please, if you think that that's specifically, I was saying all artifacts suck all the time, don't farm them, then you didn't watch, you didn't actually listen to what I was saying in the video, so please go back and try to actually pay attention, because I wasn't saying, like, don't farm artifacts, all artifacts are bad, but we can take a look at some of the artifact subs, and like some of these just don't do anything on some of these artifacts. I just wanted to clarify again because there's a lot of people that kind of misunderstood what I was saying, right? So I'm just saying that there's a lot of substats that even though like for uh, for runes, you're like, well, a lot of the rune substats are kind of pointless. Like Illusion with defense on slot two, it's wrong. First off, it's wrong, but he'll still get the defense stats, right? For artifacts, some things are bomb damage. Like, you can't really put that on that many units. Some things are like skill 4 crit damage. There's not very many, like Christina and, and, and uh, Samurai, like those have skill 4s. There's not that many units that have skill 4s. So some of the artifact stats actually don't do, do actually zero things on some of the units. That's more what I was trying to say. So I just want to clarify that because I know a lot of people um, got a completely different understanding than what I was trying to convey. So, anyway, let's take a look at some of the uh, stats that I was going for on some of these artifacts. They're not even maxed. That's another thing, is that they're not even maxed. And some of the artifacts on the left-hand side for the uh, element artifacts, uh, we don't really have too many element artifacts, do we? Oh, yeah, look at that. We could do some, uh, we could do some extra damage here. Even with, that, even, that, even with that primary stat, they're still going to be 100 more attack power. It's going to make more reliable uh, and faster. Uh, so, anyway... Uh, additional damage rate, 57% of speed. I don't care about that. Uh, skill 2, it actually doesn't do that much damage. Um, some other people did the before and after comparisons. They're like, it's basically pointless. Um, even though it does a tiny bit extra damage. Skill 2 crit damage. That's actually a good one, though. Skill 2 crit damage. HP on revive, this is pointless. Skill 4 crit damage, this is pointless again. So the only two things that I have this artifact for are attack uh, plus uh, 58 Attack plus 58 primary stat and skill 2 crit damage. Uh, and then for this one, I have skill 3 add. That's not a skill 3 accuracy. It's not the, the passive doesn't actually say anything about the accuracy, right? Um, so skill 3 accuracy is pointless. Damage dealt by attacking together is why this is here. Defense increasing effect is pointless. Damage received under ability effects is, is basically pointless. Yeah, it's basic. Th th that's not what I want that for. Damage dealt by attacking together and flat attack primary stat. So it's one sub and it's the primary stat. And that's all, right? So again, one sub and a primary stat. One sub and a primary stat. Uh, here we have attack plus 58. That's what I want. Skill 1 accuracy. That's also what I want. Skill 2 crit damage plus 10%. That's also what I want. Skill 3 accuracy damage received under ability effects. Basically pointless. Uh, don't care about those. So this actually has the primary and two subs, which make it even more valuable. <laughs> Right? Uh, attack plus 58 primary stat, really nice. Uh, attack increasing effect plus 6, that actually does some, that actually does something. Damage dealt by reflect damage is pointless, defense increasing effect is pointless, Re skill through recovery is pointless. So three of those stats are pointless on here, and is only here for the attack increasing effect and the primary uh, attack. Uh, and then for the Kali, um, it is, what does she have? This is a defense primary, I didn't want the defense primary stat, but I saw skill 2 crit damage for her tectonic shift is actually nice. Uh, skill 2 accuracy is pointless, additional damage by 1% of HP is pointless, uh, additional damage by 2% of attack, uh, I have to go through and I have to see how much damage that's actually doing, but at least it's something. Uh, and then this is the, fl but the flat defense is not the stat that I want on here, so I, that needs to replace with something else. Hopefully we get, still get the crit damage, uh, though. Um, defense plus portion to lost HP up. That's really, I don't care about that. Attack plus portion to lost HP up. That may be useful. Uh, additional damage by 3% of attack. That's a little useful. Uh, and then the flat attack primary stat. Like, basically half the reason that these artifacts are, that, that, uh, that I like the artifacts on here, and these artifacts had made a difference, is the primary stat, just a flat attack. Because flat attack, I mean, it's still extra attack power, right? So it's still going to have them do extra damage. Um... And then a little extra crit damage, extra damage uh, attacking together. But anyway, uh, that's it for that. Is that all? 
Yeah. You know what? Let's do. Let's do a time lapse. We have 103 million mana. Can I uh, fake upgrade something so I can see? 103, 103,091,683. 1, By the way, this is not, don't get excited about this uh, runes on the figure. I just 2 ate him on this account, China server account. I just 2 ate him. And that's why I just put whatever on him so that he could run the dungeon and actually contribute to the dungeon when I was 2 aing him. But he's not actually, this is not the runes that he's going to stay on. That's just runes that I put on so he could finish, uh, finish the dungeon. Anyway, 103 million, whatever we said before. Let's do a little time lapse, upgrading some of those artifacts, and let's see how much mana we come out with at the end, how much it actually costs, because most of those are plus 12. Let's see how much we actually get, or how much we actually have left after we plus 15, all of that stuff. Uh, and then let's run the dungeon again and see how we do. Okay, everything is upgraded. It cost roughly 4 million mana, which actually, that's not that bad. I was expecting, I think we got a little bit lucky in the rolls. I was really expecting it to be way crazier. I was expecting like 8, 10 million mana, right? So uh, actually, I think we got a little lucky. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. And another thing is this crit rate is a little bit on the low side because we were using a... Uh, the Kali crit rate leader. So they're not going to be... They're, they're, they're kind of missing some crits here and there. So uh, that's another thing to take into consideration. If these were super premium, like super premium endgame runes, that'd be really solid. I think this team would actually be, uh, I don't know, man. In, with, with, super, with super good runes, this would actually, this would actually be reliable. Like if I, if I did this on my main, I bet this would actually like consistently work. Lulz. But I don't have four fire Nagamis on the main. I don't have enough devil mods to devil mod four fire Nagamis on the main. Because that's what we did here. We devil mod four fire Nagamis. <sighs> Among other things, we also devil mod the, uh, <laughs> the wind werewolf too. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little, it's a little sketchy. I mean, it beat it again. But again, it's not, it's not super reliable, but I feel like with super premium runes, this would actually be reliable. Anyway, more of a for the funds video, but Again, if you happen to have crazy runes, here you go. <laughs> here you go. The gimmick team still winds up working in Punish the Script, which I think is just very funny, right? I think it's just very funny. Anyway, um, it's uh, it's the same runes as we're on it before, right? Just attack or damage attack for everything. Attack or damage attack. Just trying to grind and fully max plus 15 as much as we can. Even if it's blue grinds, even if it's not anything too crazy. Attack or damage attack. These are all, uh, if you want to see more about the team, I did other videos. Oh, not plus 15, bruh. Okay, well, we're going to go have to plus 15 uh, this as well. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you can check out more about this team in other videos uh, as well. And we were using the Kali lead uh, before in dragons, which just upped the crit rate on everything by 23 extra percent, uh, which was kind of very important because now we actually would need more crit rate since we have the speed lead. Anyway, again, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys got a kick out of it or whatever. Just funny that the gimmick team, after, after just a little bit more extra juice that they needed from the artifacts, actually made it work. Big Pingo, you just said the artifacts suck. <sighs> that's not, you don't need to listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.